Alright, Nigel, so today we are back once more to showcase Uryu again, but this time he is now Max Transcended. This is something that we've done on the channel already. I'm kind of late to it, but we have already showcased a Max Transcended Chad and also Ichigo. Recommend you guys check it out. And I guess to finish up the trio, we now have a Max Transcended Uryu, courtesy once more of my Guildmate Dragon. Like, look at this absolute beauty. This is illegal to look at. I feel bad looking at this, but it's beautiful. But anyway, for the most part, we are going to be trying out Uryu in IT and also Epic Rider where he's currently a bonus and a character that you kind of want to have worked on for the most part because this is the character you're kind of forced to use. Again, remember, he is a super Link Soul character, Link Soul character, and also drop the character at the same time. So in this case, having this character potentially max transcended or having any dupes of any kind is always going to be really good because this is the character you're going to use. He is, again, the most valuable technique character in the entire game, offering you those droplets, Link Soul potions, and also Super Link Swap Potions. He's a must-have in Epic Rays and a must-have in IT, and that's where many can be showcasing him in today's video. So, with that said, let's jump into it. Firstly, trying him out in Inheritance Trial. All right, so here we are. Currently, we are playing in Corp Inheritance Trials by myself on the Ultra difficulty, so it is going to be harder than usual. And lucky for us, because we are showcasing it later into the month, we currently have Killer Advantage against the enemies, which is great. It's going to allow us to showcase him just a tad bit better, because this is him performing basically at his best. Now, one thing you've got to keep in mind with Uri, and unfortunately it's the only bad thing about him is the fact that he does not have any stars immunity So in this case we are actually we can actually take damage from the burn and we kind of don't want to do that Because he kind of wants to stay at full stamina But what we are seeing here is great crowd control thanks to that SA2 And also just great DPS all things because they're like we're already into the third stage And this character doesn't I mean for the most part he does have some good damage numbers But nothing like super insane So what I'm going to do here is use my SA3 back up use my SA1 and just, what, two strong attacks were able to actually kill those enemies. That's pretty impressive, all things considered. He isn't supposed to be a fast character, but given the fact that he does have Pierce Iron Skin, it does allow him just to be a super fast clearing character in Inheritance Stars, just like Ichigo. It feels like we're playing Inheritance Zone. We're playing IT on co-op, <laughs> on ultra difficulty, by myself. And look how much damage we're doing. SA3 there. It looks like, for the most part, two strong attacks almost is enough to kill the enemies. And surprisingly, we have not taken any damage whatsoever by the burn, which is great to see. Now, when it comes to our soul bomb damage, we do actually have bombardment. So, potentially, we should be able to just nuke and straight through. <laughs> so this is so dumb, but I love this. I love this. I am a fan of this Uryu. You know, visually, I wasn't like... I, I do like the strong attack visuals, but it's just a base from Uryu. I don't think it looks that cool. But I do like the visuals of strong attacks. And overall, the character itself is actually quite impressive. And I feel like... I was going to say Uryu deserves this, but he just got the same anniversary Uryu. So, Uryu fans have, like, an absolute treat. They have, like, one of the best characters in the entire game with anniversary Uryu. And now you have, basically, the best farmer. By ourselves, at Max Transcends, we were able to clear in 1 minute and 30 seconds. And we offer those extra bit of drops. That's great. That's really, really good. All right, so for our second round, we're jumping in again. Same quest, Ultra IT. This time, though, we have a Ruka on our team to see if we can actually keep us safe, right? We're going to add an extra challenge to an already easy task that is Ultra IT with this particular Uryu. The goal is to make sure that Ruka does not die. And it's going to be very tough, mainly on the third stage, since the enemies are... You know, it's a very linear stage for the most part. SA1 there, good amount of damage. That SA1 has way better range than I originally thought. And then we can use that SA3 here. And what we're going to do is just wait a couple seconds. No, okay, never mind. The, the Ririka ran into it. <laughs> so, all right. We want to try and play it safe because this stage is very linear. Very, very linear. And the key skates and stuff can do a lot of damage. Like right now, let's use our SA3. Back up. SA1. Are we good? Yes, we are. The Ruka did die, but we had the last ditch. That was probably like the toughest part of this entire quest. SA won that. There we go. So far, so good. We haven't been hit by any of the burn. Let's do that. Into the SA3. Unfortunately, missed a tad bit. The Ruka did not help us there. Let's wait a couple seconds for our SAs to come back. There we go. SA1 into the 3. Into the 2. And then SA1. Unfortunately, took a bit of damage there. That's not what you want to see. We did actually now lose our full stamina. So we have lost a tad bit of damage, so we have to play it safer here. But what we can do is kill this wave. Instead of soul bombing right from the get-go, we're going to kill this wave, nuke into that one, then use our soul bomb. And we can still, for the most part, nuke. That's actually quite impressive. Even with no tension tie, even losing our full stamina damage, we were still able to do some respectable damage on our soul bomb. And that mainly comes down to the bombardment plus one that he does have. But the main thing is that we did keep Ruka alive. Absolute champ. Uru, you, you are a protector. And in this case, we were only 15 seconds slower than our first run. Again, quite impressive, honestly. 
Uh, so I guess for our next run, just because why not, let's take him into uh, into Droplet Zone. Currently it is three times drop rate on Droplet Zone, so you do want to be farming it this particular week until the end of the month. And lucky for us, the enemies are speed, so we're able just to go through it super quick. Same goes for Ruka. Ruka is like an absolute MVP when it comes to farming droplets. But this Uryu also does quite well. Droplet Zone itself is quite easy. So he does auto it again, also quite easy. It's not hard to do Droplet Zone, but... You know, just, let's just take him in there because he is offering those extra bit of drops. And you can see that we're going for it really quick. I mean, you should be autoing in Rich Shopper Zone. But, you know, if you want to do the extra bit of manual, you can definitely do that. And also just kill them super quick. And with that, we're already into the final stage. All I got to do is just go forward. So, bomb. And there we go. We couldn't even see the enemies. How many waves did that? We don't know because we just killed too quick. <laughs> and we were able to get a one minute clear time. Almost sub one minute. Unfortunately not, though. But close enough. Decent enough. It's good. It's still good. And of course, to finish up the showcase, we are now going against the Quincy King himself, Yuha. And let's see how fast he can actually do it himself, right? So, um, in Ichigo's case, of course, Ichigo has significantly more DPS. And he was able to clear it in around 12 or so seconds. And we can see that with Uryu, it is nowhere near the same. But still, some respectable damage. Sobum, of course, is going to be an absolute noob with that bombardment. But that's fine. We're still able to do some respectable damage. And then with that SA1, we're able to clear by ourselves in around 28 or so seconds. And you know, again, that's the big difference between Ichigo and also Uryu. Ichigo can clear content super, super fast. Unreasonably fast, in my opinion. But he doesn't offer any extra drops. He does offer quality of life for going through iron skin and stuff like that. But in Uryu's case, he clears slower compared to Ichigo. But he is giving you an extra bit of drops. As using Uryu here, we are able to get an extra 30 percent increase on our droplets and also guarantee us five normal link slot potions so to finish up again we're going to do one more run and see how fast we can clear it this time maybe we can do something just a tad bit different maybe use more naturing let's see how it goes because our nat can also do some respectable damage again we're going to sob on the second phase so our strong attacks can come back a tad bit faster for the final phase and then again finish up 26 seconds that looks like this time when it comes to a max chance that you that is the clear time you're going to get and that's again Quite impressive for the most part. We were able to do, what, 13 million damage, almost 15 million damage in less than 30 seconds. But with that said, lads, that was the video for today. Trying out a max transcended Uryu once more, just like Ichigo, an absolute beast of a character. And if you are someone that does own him, congratulations. I recently just pulled him one out of five, and I'm perfectly happy with that. He goes through IT super easy, only special reveal one out of five. And even in Epic Rates, he can still do some respectable damage. And he's also, most importantly, offering you extra droplets, Link Star Potions, and also Super Link Star Potions. If you have this character, at least for potentially the next year, until they may somehow make a character better, than this you won't need another technique character he does all the farming for you and it begs the question what is next are we going to get plus 10 super links or potions plus 10 links or potions plus 60 percent droplets who knows we'll find out again when the time eventually does come but hope you lads did enjoy the video i'll see you lads next time take care and peace